Hi my friends, it's Trey of Chicha Channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. Today we are moving from Tokyo to Yokohama. We will be back to Tokyo later. But for now, let's have a morning coffee. Wanda is one of my favorite canned coffees in Japan. And here is also my Donald Duck plush that I bought at the Kyoto Disney Store. Go check that vlog out. After checking out of the Prince Hotel, I took a cab to Yokohama and here I am at Queen Square Mall. We still had a few hours before our check-in time so we went to the department store that's right by our hotel and decided to get some lunch. On this trip, we haven't had a lot of luck with food but finally we found this sit-down tonkatsu place and we liked it. Afterwards, we went shopping around the different shops at the department store. Here is a sportswear store that I liked. I also found a loungewear store called Gelato Pique. It's really popular right now and I've never been to a in real life store. I've only seen their products online so this was a lot of fun for me. After some time, we decided to get a little snack at the Godiva Cafe. Everything here looked really yummy, but I wasn't that hungry obviously after having lunch, so I decided to go with the drink. My mother and I ended up sharing a strawberry drink and a chocolate drink, and the strawberry ended up being our favorite. Next, we checked out the Snoopy shop. You know we love our character goods. My favorite items here were the camping themed items. So cute little backpacker Snoopy. And you guys know me, every time I see a Disney store, I end up having to check it out. Here they had a Yokohama Disney store selling almost all of the same things as the other stores that we've come across. I finally found this little item. I've been looking all over for these. Now it's time to check into our hotel, which is just across the bridge. We are staying at the Intercontinental Yokohama Grand. It's a pretty well-known hotel in Yokohama. This was by far our favorite hotel that we stayed at during this trip. The staff here were all really lovely. The room is very spacious. We have this amazing view of the popular attractions nearby. And finally, a double bed room that is spaced correctly. I don't know why some hotels space them so close together. Here is a lovely view of all of the attractions nearby. There is so much to do here. I actually think I'm becoming a Yokohama girl. I'm kind of over Tokyo at this point. Definitely going to explore this city a lot more in the future. Here's a little bathroom tour of our hotel room and of course we have the washlet, there's me again, and a very large tub which is nice. <laughs> That's crazy! You guys, I was just sitting on the bench looking out at the view and I saw the bus drive around and then enter into the water. This is a legitimate duck bus. I was so shook. It was so funny. I actually want to do this one day. I've seen duck buses before. I grew up in Hawaii, but this one is very different from what I'm used to. I am putting this one on my bucket list. Definitely got to try this. So 
So I love Eon Mall. We decided to walk to the Eon nearby. We thought it was gonna be like the same as every other mall, but it ended up being a giant amusement park. This place was pretty crazy. They had floors filled with toy stores, themed restaurants, furniture, movie theaters, arcades, a rock climbing gym, different alien experiences, like you name it, they had it. For my anime and gaming otakus, this is a great place to come if you want to just find everything in one place. They had gachas, anime figures, gaming merchandise, you name it. I think the only thing you wouldn't be able to find here is actual video games. That was one thing I wish they had because I wanted more video games and they didn't have a store that sells them. It was fun to explore the Eon Mall. Now it's time to head back to the hotel. That's the hotel right there. And we're going to rest and then get ready for dinner. How cute was the pink train? Now we're in Yokohama Chinatown, which is the biggest Chinatown in the whole world other than in actual China. At first when my mom said that she wanted to visit Yokohama Chinatown, I was like, why in the world would we go to Chinatown when we're in Japan? But I'm really glad that she convinced me to come because it ended up being one of my favorite things that we did during this trip. They had a lot of really interesting and retro looking architecture in this area. They had a lot of fun restaurants, buffets, street foods, shops, and everything was really clean and thematic and fun. Now we're looking for a restaurant to eat at. It was so hard to decide because they had Hong Kong style, Taiwan style, Peking style, so many different options for Chinese food. Oh, is it really duck? Duck fried duck? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> As we were walking around Chinatown, I also found this temple, very beautiful, had to stop by and check it out.
My mother and I finally settled on a Hong Kong buffet restaurant. We've been to Hong Kong before and we love the food there, so it seemed like the right choice. The food was fire, highly recommend, and it's kind of funny because this ended up being my favorite meal the entire trip. And this was a buffet, like 20 bucks per person, super worth it, really enjoyed it. I am surprised to say that I had a blast in Yokohama Chinatown. I will definitely be coming back here to try more food and explore again. But for now, it's been a long day. We're heading back to our hotel via the train. This was definitely a great day in Yokohama, Japan. Tomorrow we are gonna do more Yokohama some Kamakura and we are headed back to Tokyo for a little bit so stay tuned for the next vlog. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments down below what you enjoyed about Yokohama and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Stay well and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye!